Here we go, 357 SIG fans, a high velocity water jug test of the 125 grain HST round. I have not seen any other high velocity tests done with this round, probably because the round is not available in higher than factory velocities, like the Gold Dot round is, from other boutique ammo manufacturers. Let's see what it can do. The bullet went through three jugs and then bounced off the fourth jug and landed on the table. See the hole right here. And there's the bullet. Looks like maybe it overexpanded a little bit. Probably a little too fast for the HST. I did this test with a hand loaded HST round. My take on a test is that the HST overexpanded some at this higher velocity with the pedals folding completely over onto the back side of the round. Average expansion was 0.72 inches, which is a bit on the high side. In standard velocity, which is 1360 feet per second, this bullet expands to around 0.60 inches and penetrates to about 18 inches in gel tests. This round at 1463 feet per second penetrated three jugs of water and cracked the fourth jug. This is about typical for a water jug test. Not sure what the penetration would have been in a gel test. In comparison, the gold dot bullet in this higher velocity range still has good penetration and does not overexpand even at velocities over 1500. The gold dot might be a better choice for hot 357 SIG loads. Of course, this was just one test with one round using water jugs. Results could vary with more rounds tested and also using ballistic gel instead of water jugs.